Hi, my name is Tropic. I have really never felt that I was good enough at APG to make a guide for you guys. So about one month ago, I picked up APG and started training. Getting started on the APG was the toughest task I've done so far in this game, since the learning curve is the steepest of the three classes. With this video, I hope I can make the learning curve a bit easier and help you guys get a better understanding of the APG. So today, we're going to talk about the guns, also known as the APG. The aiming for the APG is a bit different from the ODM. When walking around or standing on the ground, you'll quickly figure out that you're unable to shoot if you're not facing your enemies. When you're aiming the APG, you can aim and shoot a little more than 19 degrees to each side. If you overdo this threshold, your casting bars will turn red and you will be unable to shoot. This means you will always have to somewhat face your enemy to shoot them. There is however a way to overcome this mechanic. If you find yourself grounded or looking away from the enemies and your casting bars are red, all you have to do is get airborne. Every time you poise your APG mid-air with no cables, you will automatically face the way you're aiming, making you able to shoot. Before we start shooting, we have to understand the physics of the APG. When you shoot, you only shoot one bullet. Not two, not a bunch, and there is no spread. You only shoot one bullet. If this bullet as much as touches the enemy player's hitbox, they die. Now it gets a bit weird. To make the APG act like a shotgun with only one bullet and no spread, the game simply makes the enemy hitbox larger the further away you are from each other. This means if an enemy stands right in front of you, they will have a small hitbox, and if they are far away, they will have a large hitbox. The hitbox size gradually expands and contracts as the range between you and your target change. This effect creates the feel that the APG acts like a shotgun when it really is to be considered as a sniper or a normal pistol. Since it's the enemy hitbox that expands and not the actual APG bullet that acts like a shotgun shell, you can sometimes pull off some corner training shots and feel like you're the main protagonist straight out of Wanted. At last but not least, the APG also has projectile speed. So when you shoot, the bullet has a travel time. This means if your target is moving, you have to think about displacements. If your target is moving close, you can just aim and shoot. But if your target is moving around from afar, you have to lead the bullet to where your target will be in the near future. Most of the time, this means aiming in front of your target, because most people move the direction they are looking. As a tip, I can say that you have to lead the bullet a lot. I shoot when I feel it is too early, since the travel time can be rather long when your target is at a maximum range. As a side note, the maximum range for the APG is set to 25 meters from where the shot is taken. I tested this a bunch of times and with the hitbox expand taken into consideration, I found it to be more accurate with around 26.5 meters. First, I recommend you start offline to figure out how the APG works, since this class is a bit different from the ODM and you have to start changing your playstyle to adapt to the APG. The map and the game mode matters very little, but training at least gives you somewhat of a target practice. When you get in, don't overcomplicate things. Figure out how the shooting works on the ground before taking it into the air. Press F to poise or aim your guns, and then hold respectively M1 or M2 to shoot the left or the right gun. You get one shot in each gun before you have to reload with R. When you get into the air, just focus on the shooting. We will address the proper way to reload later. The easiest way to get a hang of this is to do an up burst with E, take aim and shoot. This is the most simple way to set yourself up for an easy shot and will be more than enough to get started in online lobbies. Now for the reloading. You can either reload a single gun or both guns, depending on the situation at hand. If you shoot once and press R, you reload one gun. And if you shoot both guns and press R, you reload both guns. You can, however, shoot both guns and force a single reload if one of your cables are out. This means if you're using cable from M1 and press R, you will reload the gun on M2 since M1 is occupied, and vice versa. Switching between double and single reloading depends on the current situation. If you're being chased, you most likely still want to be able to cable around to dodge and weave, so a single reload would benefit most in this situation. But if no enemies are near, you can opt for the double reload and get both guns ready as fast as possible. Now that you got the basic understanding of how the APG works and how and when to reload, you're actually good to go for online lobbies. But of course, this is only the basics of the APG. 
Now we're going into some more advanced maneuvers and techniques you can use to get the upper hand as an APG player. First off, you should learn how to switch grapple with M1 and M2. It can be a bit confusing at first, thus why I put it in the advanced category. But if you pick up this technique, you will make your advancement in APG much easier. As soon as you get comfortable with grappling and shooting, you should rely less on the upburst. Upbursting will put you at a complete standstill mid-air, making it easier for you to shoot, but also making you a sitting duck. Using the WASD directional burst is a better option because it keeps you on the move. Since mobility is key in this game, and every mobility involving technique can make or break a fight. Another way to reload both guns in a more safe way is to press and hold E as soon as you hit the ground while you're reloading. This will send you up into the air so you spend less time on the ground. Cable shooting is a technique that really puts your training to the test. To perform a cable shot, you need to have one hook to an object and while swinging, you will poise your APG and shoot. This technique keeps you on the move and still lets you be aggressive. Just remember, while you are swinging around, you will always face the object your cable is attached to, which means if your target gets out of the kill zone, you will be unable to shoot. You can, however, pair this up with a quick backdash to turn around your character, because a backdash will always force you to look towards your aim. With this backdash, you will have a small window where you have time to shoot. You can also incorporate side dashes to cable shooting to change direction or to get a better shot. Now all you have to do is play around with the APG and gain some experience. I picked up the APG a month ago and can now even play it competitively to some degree. It took me some time to get into the APG mindset, but after a couple of days of playing, I already started showing progress. As soon as you break the initial introduction to the APG and start understanding how it works, the rest comes naturally. With all this said, thank you all for watching and I hope this was useful to you.